Secretary of State. Well, Mr Speaker, it's not a surprise that the Honourable Lady is relentlessly negative about the opportunities of the Australia deal and the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm surprised that she's known as the Secretary of State or the Shadow Secretary of State for International Trade. She should be known as the Sec Shadow Secretary of State against international trade because there's not a single trade deal that she supports. She had nothing to say about the tariff-free access for all British goods from cars to whiskey that we are going to secure under this agreement. She had nothing to say about the benefits for the under 35s of being able to live and work in Australia for three years with no strings attached. She had nothing to say about digital and services, even though the UK is the second largest services exporter in the world. Instead, she talked about agriculture, which is a new interest for her because we haven't really heard her say much about it in the past. Let me be clear, Mr. Speaker. In year one, the cap on Australian exports to the UK in beef will be 35,000 tonnes of beef. Now, we currently import 230,000 tonnes from the EU. So the cap is 15% of what we currently import from the EU. That is not the same access that the EU have. It's only 15% of the access. In fact, Australian farmers will only have the same access as the EU in 2036. And she talks about animal welfare standards, Mr Speaker. Australia has been rated five out of five in international ratings on animal welfare standards. And in many cases, in many cases, Mr. Speaker, those animal welfare standards are higher than they are in the EU. But not once, not once, Mr. Speaker, did the Honourable Lady complain about the zero tariff, zero quota deal from the EU. Not once has she talked about animal welfare standards in the EU, apart from claiming that she likes Danish pork. Mr. Speaker, the reality is that the lady opposite simply wants to stay in the EU. She doesn't want to look at the future opportunities. She's not interested in where Britain can go in the future. And she is not interested in expanding Britain's trade and delivering more jobs in this country.